back to heaven of aromas this week we will talk about methods of using essential oils where we are going to talk about using essential oils in many different ways aromatherapy tropical application and internal use which is somewhat a debatable topic and also a controversial topic so we are going to talk about all these individually and how to use them with yourself and your loved ones so aromatherapy aromatherapy is a term that that is uh, really a great term in terms of its accuracy because essential oils are so aromatic in nature they are aromatic compounds found in plants they are very light they pass through things very easily and the great thing about aromatherapy is the way that is used it's one of its biggest benefits is for mental emotional and physiological responses and also there are several medical studies showing that certain essential oils will cause a brain activity because they are so small they can pass through the blood brain barrier they can come in through your nasal passage as you can see in this picture here which can go right to the brain and again it can affect the brain directly which is very unique here you can see in this picture essential oils and the olfactory system when you smell these essential oils they go through your nasal passage where the olfactory bulb the aroma is sent directly to the center of the brain and to the limbic system where it processes and releases chemicals which can be relaxing stimulating sedative depending on the essential oils being used in fact you may have heard this they say that your sense of smell is most connected to your memory so if you remember walking as a kid you're walking through a field of flowers or it's a festival season like these days it's ganpati festival going on in india so when you're walking down the street you smell the sweet fragrance of modak or flowers or maybe you walk in somebody's house and you smell fragrance of spices cooking in the kitchen which makes you recall of something or whatever is it but our emotions are so strongly linked with the sense of smell today the main methods of using aromatherapy are direct inhalation and diffusing in terms of benefiting from the aroma and some of the effects and common uses of diffusing essential oils one common way is to actually clean and cleanse the air a lot of times we have pollen mold and airborne toxins in the air and using certain essential oils to clean and cleanse the air can be great then we have improve energy here smelling peppermint oil or eucalyptus oil can make one feel very very strong healthy and full of energy reducing stress or fighting a headache emotional stress which people face in their day to day life using oils like lavender holy basil roman chamomile ylang ylang these oils are found very common and it can be very relaxing for the body to boost the immune system you know diffusing essential oils can help support the immune system breathing those essential oils in especially for your respiratory health as we are talking about this oils like frankincense eucalyptus is great lemon oil is fantastic myrrh all of these oils are great for supporting your immune system another favorite uh, oil is thyme oil for the immune system probably one of the biggest benefits of using essential oils or diffusing them in the air is for mood and emotional support breathing them in as you can see this picture of this beautiful woman right here she is really just taking these essential oils right from the bottle and she is in trance that's how her mood has been affected and her brain has been affected we will talk about tropical applications next now topical application is probably the most common way essential oils are used today and this can be applied directly on the skin or certain oils can be applied directly on your skin other oils need to be combined with carrier oils now applying essential oils topically allows for a small amount of absorption in your blood stream and many applies can be applied need that means directly on your skin with or with a carrier oil really depending on which oil are you using 
Now, in order to keep these videos short, I am not going to cover what career oils are in this video. Probably, I will make a new video on what career oils are. So, do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. So, topical applications has lot of benefits here. Some of the most common reasons to use essential oils topically can include immune system support, digestive issues, respiratory issues, head or neck pain as we have talked about already. Sore muscles is a big one. Tired and sore muscles is a biggie. Energy boots, joint discomfort and especially skin issues are some of the reasons to use essential oils topically. Any type of cut or burn we know a lot of times lavender oil has proven effective there. Any sort of skin issues, stretch marks, wrinkles, we know certain oils like geranium and myrrh could be effective there. Dry skin, you know again, myrrh and geranium are beneficial there as well. Some may help supporting skin inflammation. Again, lots and lots of benefits to use essential oils tropically. And even for things like fevers, I will mention that as well using peppermint and basil and other oils on feet and neck as well can be a natural treatment ear infections using tea tree oil and basil oil not in the ear but around the ear as well has been used in flock medicine and natural medicines throughout the history there are many more methods on using essential oils topically uh, by compression salves but i'm not going to get into all the methods here in order to keep the video short let's get into the most controversial subject of this topic is using essential oils internally i have a feeling that i should do a different video on uh, how to use essential oils internally or whether you should take it or not so stay tuned for uh, my future videos and if you haven't done already do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any video and information out here and also don't forget to hit the notification button see you in the next video